Mancini, two homers, two minutes. You think the air's having something to do with this? Absolutely. It's 88 degrees as soon as this contest started. And just with the excitement, the adrenaline comes in. I'm interested to see what happens when there's a minute left in his at-bat. He goes the other way, and that's a big fly to right field. And uh, after that timeout, Mancini's starting to tack on some home runs. There you go. That one's hammered. Buster, the home run paid off. He's got his bonus. He's hit one 475 and still 90 seconds left. And he's got his man on the mound throwing to him, the former pitching coach from Notre Dame, who told me that when Mancini called him, he was in the airport in Atlanta on a recruiting trip. And, of course, he initially worried that this might be a call related to Mancini's cancer. But no, Mancini asked him if he would pitch to him. Ristano's been practicing. He is the first time Charlie's thrown to him since 2013. Well, he's found the happy zone. Mancini is locked in right now. The number to 10, make it 11 as he goes dead central. Okay, now we're getting to that uh, to that stage. One minute left. Are the legs going to be there? He's rolling right now. Now here's a high fly to left, and that one is gone. The next one in the air, but it's a line out. 14 home runs for Mancini. Make it 15 and watch out scoreboard. He's rolling right now, 37 seconds left. But you're seeing him now waver a little bit with the balance. See him fall off a little bit backwards. He's fatigued, no doubt about it. Center field incoming from Mancini. <laughs> Into the trees, yeah, you can see balance is a little off. His manager, Brandon Hyde, gave him Sunday off from the start. Then he called him in late. What does he do? Pinch hit two run home run. Said through text, if you need me, I'm good. He's real good right now, and the ball is flying at cores. Last one, that's the buzzer. Hi, Bob. Cedric Mullen standing to our left saying, count that one, too. Count that one, too. <laughs> and they will. Look out, Matt Olson. That's 18. 19 they give him the start for Trey Mancini. What a – boy, was that timeout well-timed? It was a great timeout that he had early on. 2.07 left on the clock. Balanced right here. Gets the bat head out. That's the trick here. You have to hit it out in front. It's that leg kick. Gets the loft under it. And when he got on a roll, he continued to stay out there. Mancini doing a great job. And you're talking about a recruiting trip. He was in Atlanta. This right here is a heck of a recruiting trip. If I'm a hitter, I want that man throwing batting practice to me while I'm in college. There's Matt Olson. So he's bought himself an extra minute. So Mancini with an awfully impressive performance. And he'll get back in there. Some background on Trey. He grew up in Lakeland, Florida, a neighbor of Matty Diaz, who, of course, is a major league player. He played tennis and baseball when he grew up, went to Notre Dame, killed it his freshman year. Junior year, he had 389, slugged 600. Orioles took him in the eighth round. His dad, uh, Tony's a doctor. When Trey signed up to play baseball as a little boy, dad's figured, well, he's going to be a scientist or a doctor like me. Little did he know he'd become a terrific major league player. And Trey also doesn't like the sight of blood. So he said, early on, I ain't going to be a doctor. That, that field's not for me. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. But what a start here. 19 home runs and a bonus time of a minute. His nickname at Notre Dame when he was with Ristano was Boom Boom. And it became Boomer. And right out of the gate, he lofts one to left field. And Wardo calls it gone, and he's right. He is doing a wonderful job of catching everything out in front. That one might not leave the ball, a ballpark, but he needs to continue to throw the pitches down and in right now, and Trey's absolutely just crushing them. Give the fans in right field something to play with as well. 30 seconds to go. Ooh. And that is hammered. What a first round for Trey Mancini. So if you're ever walking through the supermarket aisle and you look and you see the Mancini peppers, 
his great grandfather started the Mancini Pepper Company. Well, that's exactly what he's doing right now. He's peppering some baseballs into. You read my mind. That's exactly where I was going. Take a break, Trey. Boy, Matt Olson, the bar is raised. What a start to this 2021 T Mobile Home Run Derby. A cancer survivor and 23 out of the gate. Got his teammate over there, Vlad Guerrero, of course, who put on quite a show in 2019, losing in the final to Alonzo. And a lot of great respect for what he did. Hey, tonight only baseball fans could play in a free home run derby pool on DraftKings for a shot of $25,000. Every time a DraftKings Sportsbook target is hit during the derby, DraftKings will give away a free trip for two to the World Series. Download the DraftKings app, sign up with the promo code HOMER, H-O-M-E-R. Play free for a shot of $25,000 and a trip to the World Series. Eddie, we're off and running. We're off and running. I, I just can't forget the opening week series that the Baltimore Orioles had in Boston. And Alex Cora said, that right there is a comeback player of the year, hands down. Forget about the rest. And a lot of respect to Eduardo Rodriguez and everyone else. Well, Matt Olson can spray it a little bit. He's going to try to pull most of his balls, and there are certainly signs out there that, that uh, Matt Olson can drill. Matt Olson comes into this season with a little chip on his shoulder, did not have a very good 2020, made some swing adjustments, which you can talk about, and all of a sudden got himself locked back in. And he is the Matt that is leading the way for the A's. It's not his third base buddy, Chapman, but it's Olson over at first. Yeah, and if he gets on a roll, this could be special. By the way, how about that bat he is using right now? The number that he's got to get to is 24. The average exit velocity for Mancini, 104. Average distance, 447 feet. Number one for Matt Olson. That's what, is that going to stay fair? It is literally hugging the line, and no, missed by a hair. That number 24 that he's shooting for is his batting practice. Pitcher throws one two inside. That's better, but he wants to keep that fair. The most home runs by an Orioles player ever in a whole home run derby. Mancini now holds that record. Ooh, that one's a home run. Line shot that calls over that wall. As Eddie has pointed out during our Sports Center and Baseball Tonight shows, that right field wall wasn't there. It was a lot shorter. You'll see left field and center field a little easier to hit a home run, but you're hitting it the distance that Olsen's hitting it. You don't have to worry, and here comes a massive one. Whoa, third deck. Yeah, and he's starting to get on a roll, and when you start getting on a roll like this, forget about asking for timeout. This one could be affected by that wall. Uh-uh, right over. He's on a roll. Oh, my. Third deck, maybe higher. Third deck. Okay, he's leaning back. This is just around the time if he just, oh, never mind. Nope. Pause that. Last one and longest one, 472. There's the liner. He's got minute 18 to go. I think he should ask for timeout. Yeah, there and he is. did. So does he have it in him? He needs 14 to tie. Timeout. Robert Dubois. He's in prison for putting Superman in the ICU. I'm not joining your suicide squad. We'll see. It's okay, I'm not okay. Let's meet your team. <laughs> I need to feel the raindrops on my head. On my head. I'm a superhero! I do not know. Are you in or out? No. See the new trailer online. In theaters and on HBO Max. August 6th. We did on. As we welcome you back, some of the images that you can see over on ESPN2 as well, the StatCast edition. You see Matt Olson and what he's done. His longest home run's gone 472 feet. That hardest hit ball, 110. Certainly something to keep an eye on. Those that have participated in this before and had the hardest hit balls, they've all, the leader in that category, has made it into the finals. So this is now a look into the ESPN2 StatCast 
program. Are you comfortable? Because you did that for a couple of years. Are you okay sitting out here? I am very okay sitting out here. <laughs> I mean, you get to see the player up close and you can hear it right out of the bat in the reaction of the player. Love to see the back foot of the player to see if they have not a, a lot of stamina left. He needs to get on a roll here. You got 40 seconds left. He's got his bonus. That last one traveled 495 feet. So we now have the longest home run, nearly 500 feet. But he's still only halfway there. He's got at least another minute and a half, and that one is pounded high and gone. And the next one's already exiting stage right. He needs to get to 15 before the 30-second extra time to at least have a chance. There it is right there. Anything else besides that? There we go. Yeah, he's there, and we are down to four seconds. The 27-year-old rips another one. And the buzzer beater uh -uh. is foul. He needs seven. He'll have a minute to match Mancini. Woo! The balls are doing exactly what they thought we would do. They are flying out of this ballpark. Yeah. 60 seconds. He hit two home runs Sunday, and his teammate Chris Bassett said, oh, he's really good. But I'll be honest, I saw Gallo's batting practice. we got to get lucky. He's off to a really good start. No, no, that's no, fine. Give me a liner. Thanks, man. Carl, I just talked to Trey Mancini, and he admitted after that first minute when he had just two home runs, he was like, oh my God, I got to represent here. He picked it up, he talked about how much fun it is. Yeah. He's already representing. I mean, just think of what he stands for, his recovery from that stage three colon cancer. He's representing in a big way already. So here we go with the clock now at a minute and counting, and Olsen needs seven. Of course he's going to have a lot of fun. 23 home runs in the first round. Oh my, right here, that's, that's going to be 18. That'll be 19. Uh -uh. Remember, not a cumulative, so as soon as he gets to 25, that will end it and he will win. If he gets there, he's got 30 seconds and he still needs four. That one's going to stay fair if it's got the distance, and it does. Oh, my. Oh. Upper deck. Two to tie. Ground ball. 15 seconds. That'll, that's not going to do it. That's, that's not, not going to do it. it. Oh, yes, that, that will. will. He's got four seconds to hit one. Yep. And that's going to go foul. Throw another one. Throw another one. No. He did not throw another. He didn't throw another. Everybody was staring at, and that one was foul from Jump Street. What an effort from Olsen. But it's Mancini that moves on. And this is interesting because this is what Trevor Story told us early on. The right-handed hitter has an advantage. How about this last shot right here? Need that one more to tie it. Look at the reaction. Or get back in and let's throw another one. We stared at that one for a while. Tatis and everyone else was right there <laughs> along with him. That's gone. But it's Trey Mancini that will advance. Matt Olson of the Oakland A's is eliminated.